Charmander in a Pocket Acrylic Painting on a Shirt Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Paper. Hey everybody, we're seeing you here live on Father's Day and we're gonna just say a happy Father's Day to all the people who are doing a great job with their kids, moms included because you know, hey, it's a parent's day, it's not just Father's Day. I don't think people get celebrated enough. Anyways, me and Melody are here because we're excited to share this design with you today. My wife made a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Charmander t-shirt where he's just poking over the edge. He's doing one of these. And it's just awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the uh, painting that she does on the shirt. I know it's really hard to paint on this material and she does an awesome job with it. As you can see, I mean, I could wear this anywhere. I do want to show you guys two things. I've got two Charmander cards, and my wife didn't know that I found this one in her drawer. I think she was going to give it to me as a present some other time. But, oh, Melody, we can't mess with these. But this is my favorite person from Pokemon. When I was growing up, I used to watch the show every night when I'd get home from school. Uh, I'd, I'd rush home to be there by 3 o'clock to start the episode, and it was a little ridiculous, but I still like it to this day. Please enjoy the video, you guys. Thanks for watching. So to start with, you're going to want to put something between the two layers of the fabric of the shirt so that it prevents any paint from bleeding from the front of the shirt to the back. So I just stuck a plastic bag in there and I pinned that in place. Now I'm going to take in with some black fabric paint, which I have pre-mixed myself, otherwise you can buy some. Um, but you're going to want to just sort of sketch out the shape of the pocket. So just take and make the lines going down. It starts out almost like a square, but then it's got a little bit of a point at the bottom. You can round that out more if you'd like. I kind of like the square appearance. And then with some of that paint on your brush, you want to sort of buff it into the material. So make sure that it's not too opaque. If it's too opaque, you're going to end up with these black streaks. But if you use a little bit diluted paint, you can kind of, like I said, buff it in and work it into the fabric. And you're going to start doing the little shadows and all the little outlines around the Charmander while he's in the pocket. So you don't see any color. You just see the shadows of him. So you got his knees and his feet the little hole where his tail comes out and then his head and his hands or his paws I suppose so I had all of those little shadows around there like that then with some white fabric paint I'm going to be filling in his head so just add the top of his head and the top of his paws that you can see outside the pocket so you have to keep in mind of what's inside the pocket and what's outside the pocket so you got the little top of the head and then his whole paws his whole front paws are outside the pocket so that you look like they're holding on like he's keeping himself from falling in and then you have his tail that's coming out of that little burn hole in the bottom of the pocket so at the start of his tail there just with the knife it's kind of a j shape and then the flame on the end of it and fill all this in with white. If you don't go to white, or you don't use white first as a base layer, when you start to add your orange and everything on top, it would just show the red through and you wouldn't really be able to see him. So that orange base layer is kind of like a primer, I suppose you could think of it as, and that really helps. Then I'm going to take some yellow, or I mean some orange, sorry, some orange fabric paint, and I'm going to be painting over the white of his head, paws, and tail. Just sort of cover over that, and if any of these things need a second coat, don't hesitate to add them. Add some yellow on his tail. And one thing I forgot to mention is that I used some red fabric paint and I buffed that in for highlights on the pocket. But then I'm going to take some black paint, and this isn't actually fabric paint, it's just straight up black paint. And I'm going to be doing his outlines. The reason I didn't use fabric paint for this is because the fabric paint isn't as opaque. And for the outlines, since they're so skinny anyway, if it's not fabric paint, it's okay. The reason to use fabric paint is because it's a little bit softer and it washes a little bit better, especially if you're doing a bigger area, it's not going to crack when it goes through the washer and the dryer. But for these little skinny lines, I think it's not a huge deal to worry about that because the softest you're not gonna be able to tell anyway. And if they crack, same thing, it's not like it's a huge space that's cracking, it's probably just like a little hairline thing that you won't see anyway. But then I'm going to continue doing all my outlining. I outlined his eyes, and then I'm going to be adding some shadows on his face with some red fabric paint, the same thing that I used to highlight the pocket. Just add little highlights here and there around his head and his tail and his paws. Not too much. You don't want it to look like it's red. You just want it to have a little bit of that red hue on it. Add a little bit of an orange shadow on the tail, on the flame of the tail. And then with a bright green, I'm going to be filling in his eyes, the eye color. And then filling in the pupil area with black. Just like so. And then you're going to want to add a little white highlight on his eyes. 
two little dots should do the trick and you're all done thank you guys so much for watching Terrell absolutely loved his shirt it's actually a design that he showed me a while back and like can you paint me this and I looked and I said ah, I don't feel like it of course I did it anyway I just didn't tell him but I hope you guys like it as much as he does and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos bye